Hey everyone, um, I'm here in the Bronx uh, to do a follow-up video of the uh, fifth alarm pallet slash junkyard fire. Uh, a lot of people ask me to do these. I do them when I can, so I have some free time today. I uh, just wanted to show you what's left of the uh, property. Uh, sadly, I can't show anything inside because it's all boarded up. Uh, but as you can see from the uh, empty space uh, that there's nothing in there um, I'm gonna go to the corner and then around uh, and show you what little bit is left all the poles there were on fire like that one the small one if you look closely there's holes in it it was burning uh, have now been replaced by brand new ones and a little taller so that's good there's still a lot of charred wire um, on the streets as you can see also um, this tree did not make it at all all the leaves are gone uh, and all its limbs and this is where the uh, giant semi was burning. Uh, apparently it's a spot where they park semis because there's one there already. Uh, sort of in the same spot. Um, so yeah, these companies are fixing these wires here right now. You can see all the charred stuff on the floor. And stuff like that. There's the other burnt pole. And there's the other one on the other side. Hey buddy, how are you? Um, and there's the uh, car, they moved it to the other side. So the fire, you know, consumed the whole inside. This one was, this is what was left uh, at the end. This is the car that was burning for a long time uh, over that way. Nothing left to that. I mean, there's nothing left to it. It's all metal. There's no leather, no plastic. No, nothing. Sorry, there's something on my screen there. All right, so most of the rest of it has been boarded up all the way around. There's not really too much to see, but I'll come over here and uh show you guys the rest uh we'll go down to the corner and see if there's anything visible uh, i can't see they put up a new mailbox so they could get their mail they're probably gonna rebuild who knows um In time, I guess, I don't know. Nothing visible here. We still have some of the caution tape. Might be able to see something where the uh, tankers were, I don't know. Yeah, these were the pallets that were burning in here. These are the type of pallets it looks like. Um, let me see if I can take a peek in there. Yeah, they have a preemptory, yeah, preemptive 
order to vacate. That looks like it's brand new, that aluminum there. Seems like a lot of trucks and things park here. Yeah, they got all new gates and they uh, have a few um, of those oil tankers in there. Let me see what's in there. Yeah, a few of the oil tankers are in there. All right, well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little clip. Uh, I'm just going to go back around the other side uh, where the bank, uh, I think it was a city bank, was open while the fire was going on and people were going in and out oblivious to what was going on right next door from the back side at least um yeah Citibank and uh, this is the bank and people were going in and out and back there was where this whole fire situation was going on So, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be uh, getting out of here. Going out for a Friday night, ready to go. In case another job pops up. A lot of this aluminum survived pretty good. Which is great. But I thought that they would have knocked that all down during the fire. Anyway, this whole fence went down. This they had to take down to get the tower ladders back here. And uh, other equipment and such. You can smell the... Uh, the smoke's still in the air. Um, so I believe this whole side here, just to close and closing, this whole side was the pallet side where they stored pallets as you saw early on in this clip. And then the other side, on the other side where I just came from was the uh, oil tanker storage area. They already have four or five of them in there. Anyway, so I guess you guys uh that like to see after videos will enjoy this and um, that's pretty much it with that said um two and two see you all on the other side from the boogie down bronx